The Omo River travels for hundreds of miles through Ethiopia before it empties into Lake Turkana in Kenya. Along its course, the waters of the river and the lake provide a vital life source for the tribal cultures that have thrived there since the beginning of humankind. Na sababu ya kusema pengine Kenya aoni ni kwa sababu za hizi wakati wanafunga huko na sisi hapa tunapelekwa kwa hiyo kaburi tunafunikwa pale. The 2 billion dollar Gibe 3 dam will provide massive amounts of electricity to Nairobi, Kenya's capital. And also divert much of the river's water supply to corporate agricultural ventures in Ethiopia. Gibe 3 is a co-venture of the Chinese and Ethiopian governments. The dam will reduce Lake Turkana by half its volume. Before long, only a meager share of the Omo River's headwaters will reach this immense desert lake known as the Jade Sea. The loss of this essential water supply will be catastrophic for the indigenous people who depend on it. You're looking at anything in the order of 300,000 people that are going to be affected by this across the entire valley from the Omo into Trukana. Now, if you displace these people, either physically or you take away their livelihoods, it is life or death. When a landscape or a culture is threatened by a huge project with the backing of international industry, finance, and governments, who has the right to speak against it? I think there are all sorts of questions about the dam. There is a long-term implication of environmental damage and the loss of livelihoods and the disappearance of a lake which provides fish in an area that's stressed anyway. When Richard Leakey brought this, the whole issue about what's happening at the dam, he basically brought me documents and said, well, it's your people, you have to do this. Changing that nature totally wipes out a people who lived by fishing, who lived by a little bit of grazing. This is their way of life. And I basically outlined my worry that this was a massive concern for Kenya, as well as Ethiopia. And I said to Ikal, this is something we need to fight. You need to start talking to the members of parliament. You need to start talking to the community. I had never done any activism. I didn't even know what I was getting into. But I needed to do it, because if I don't do it, what am I going to tell the next generation? While coming from this community, I had stayed out so long that I had to come back and really integrate myself to understand what challenges I was going to face. I benefited from an education and I've come home. Ikel Angele lost both her parents at an early age. Because of that tragic loss, she held a strong resentment for the region she grew up in. <laughs> Ikel knows full well that medical care and infrastructure are sorely lacking in Turkana. And that the people's lives are extremely difficult. 
Within Kenya, the region is considered remote and inaccessible. The lives of herders, farmers, and fishermen are deeply dependent on the waters of Lake Turkana. <laughs> 